Uh, hey everybody, Dogbert here to talk about a team uh, people have talked about, but I've never seen videos on it, and I've never really promoted the team before. Uh, this is the Beat Darmholds and Darkholds, and the team is more or less Eternals, Morgan, Emma, in this case Sharon Carter. You can also use Rogue, obviously, which I've shown before, but I've never shown the Sharon Carter version before, and it does work. Uh, this is on Catbert. I'm using this one particularly because this is only a 5 red, 7 yellow Sharon. Plus, uh, I don't have Dormammu on Catbert. So that makes a big difference because I do prefer Dormammu on that team over pretty much everybody else, even including Rogue. Uh, just makes it more reliable when you're taking on very, very big dorm dorm holds and things can go wrong. Of course, as you're going to see in these videos, the ability block is, of course, necessary on the opponent's Morgan. So that's still going to come into play. But you can see this how I have my Sharon Carters built. And it really all comes down to this ultimate. If you don't know, if you look at the ultimate, she gets 5,000% extra focus for this stun. Which gives her like 700,000 some focus, which means she's going to stun Morgan. But the reason why you need to get the ability block on that opponent's Morgan first is because, as you can see, she is a controller. So if you don't land it and their, your opponent goes and lands the ability block, she's going to get ability blocked being like a controller. So with all this said, let's take a look at a couple of videos. All right, this first one is just a regular dark hold. You always go after Agatha. You really want to get a uh, slow on her, but you, as you can see, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the big thing is we got the ability block on Morgan. We're doing the ultimate with uh, the Eternals. This to knock back that speed bar as much as possible. And in this case, we actually uh, got Agatha under Invis. Um, that doesn't matter, but if you don't get Agatha under Invis, uh, feel free to stun her with Cersei when it comes time. Uh, there you can see reason why we want the slow on her because we didn't really want her to do that, but it doesn't matter in the long run. So we're going to rewind things. We have Morgan stunned thanks to Sharon. And now our primary target is Agatha if she's not under Invis. Uh, if she's under Invis still, here you can see we actually stun her. Uh, your secondary target is Strange Heartless. I like to just try to throw an ability block on Wong. Sometimes it lands, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it doesn't. It's just uh, in case we don't want him to really taunt. And we have already gotten rid of Agatha. That makes Strange our next primary target. You're going to leave Morgan absolutely alone until the very end. Just leave her stunned. Uh, Scarlet Witch we can also leave towards the end too. Using those uh, ultimates as whenever we can. Knock back that turn meter. That is the, really the biggest power of the Eternals. Now we're down to just Wong, Scarlet Witch, Morgan. So this is nice that it's just a regular dark hold. We don't have to kill everybody twice. Our next video will be on dorm hold. So we're almost through Wong here. As you can see, Morgan has absolutely not gotten a turn at all. Wong's already gone. We can just beat up on Scarlet Witch now. Again, we're just not even letting Morgan get the turn here. It's very easy to fight a dark hold. Well, uh, you can also use this on like an Emma hold if somebody did that, because you would still have the speed advantage having uh, one less Mystic. So there's the normal dark hold. You can see pretty simple. Let's move on to our Dormammu dorm hold team. So for this Dormammu team, we're going to move against Commander Marco here at number 34. You can see he has like a gear 15 full 7 star Dormammu. You know, we got 5-5 five, five Agatha, 5-5 five, five Wong, 5-5 five, five Heartless, 5-5 five, five Morgan, a gear 16 of course. As you're going to see, using the same team. Get this loaded.
So again, we go and target Agatha. Hope for a slow. We got it this time. We got the ability block, which is the more important part. And now we're going to target Domamu. We got the flip. Uh, mostly because that immunity needs to go to a disrupt. And here we go. We're going to stun Morgan. Uh, we want to make sure we have slows on everybody. Wong did not have a slow, so we went and did the uh, Emma special. And we've already gotten rid of Domamu. Now we have to concentrate on killing everybody twice. You see, we don't have Agatha under Invis, so we're going to stun her. And then we're going to leave her alone, just like always. Rewind that turn meter, as now we're going to concentrate on Strange. Didn't use the ultimate there because I don't want to kill Agatha. She doesn't even have any death proofs. And this time we're actually landing the ability block on Wong, but it didn't matter because we killed him. So he has died his first time. Now he is dead. So I went and did the ultimate here because I knew I'd get a double tap uh, killing Agatha her first time. Now I should have gone after uh, Agatha more when you go under Viz. Instead I went after Morgan and made it a little bit tougher, but nothing too bad. I actually misplayed that. shouldn't have used the stun. I should have uh, used the basic because it killed her the first time. Now we have to just deal with these debuffs. But right now it's a 5 on 2. And we just gotta wait our turn, get out of these stuns. Here comes Morgan. So obviously if you have like a 5-5 five, five Morgan like I do in Catbert against another 5-5 five, five, it's going to be okay. If this was like a 7-7 seven, seven, I'd be absolutely screwed because I doubt the ability block would land very often. And now we just have to finish off Morgan. Not the easiest task but here, there we go. So you can get an idea of how to use Sharon Carter now in the arena. I would not go spending like gold promo credits on her though. As you can see, A5-7 is plenty. It still lands the ability block. I mean, not the ability block, stun. Sorry. The stun on Morgan Le Fay, which is what you want. So I hope this video is helpful and informative. And until next time, everybody.